Hey there, everyone, and welcome to my channel. Well, today I have something a little different to show you guys, which would be browse service, which basically streams uh, modern web pages to old web browsers so that you can actually browse modern internet on Windows 98, 95, 3.1, so on. All the OG stuff. So basically, when you try and browse the modern internet with uh, Windows 98, normally, it's a pain. I mean, it's usually double pain, because it's painful to configure at times, and then once you get it working, you also have the pain of Internet Explorer doesn't actually work that well with modern web pages, which is expected. I mean, it's 22 years old, so, you know, it's not the most brilliant experience out there. But... There's a solution, and that is Browse Service, of course, which then basically uses a Linux machine as the provider, which will basically uh, stream the stuff for you via images, PNG or JPEG, depending on the browser. So let's say you want to go to Google. So basically, you type in google.com and then the VM actually gets to Google, not your Windows 98 machine. And then it sends the pictures over to your Windows 98 machine so that you can actually see Google. That's essentially what happened in a very quick fashion, which is enjoyable enough. So let me demonstrate. We're here, Windows 98. Hello, people. Windows 98 says hi. See, that's. Windows 98, no tricks here. We open an next plotter, and it's already set to connect to the server. So that's the server address right there. We have a address bar, another one, and that's where the magic happens, the gateway to the future. And we type in whatever we want. So, uh, of course it is. Gotta make sure it's, <laughs> clean first before you type in anything of course which i always forget there you go it's google.com and uh here we have it as you can tell it's the modern one it's not the the one made for there's a version of google that actually works on windows 98 but you cannot really get to youtube or anything nor can you get to gmail for example but here you can. So, see, Gmail. Ain't that amazing? So, back to Google, we are. Oh, there. So, let's say you want to watch some YouTube. So, you go YouTube. Did it? Oh, no, I didn't. It doesn't delete. <laughs> Okay, that's probably not a browser service's fault, more so old design. Oh my god, and I got it wrong. Ain't that a good start? Really? So you could actually go and let's see. Did I get it right? Yes! I did, finally. So, yeah. YouTube. You can see my channel. And now let's try and watch a video. Let's watch this 4K benchmark. <laughs> is it even gonna load? I don't think it is. Because it's, let's see. Because Twitch doesn't work, for instance. And some live streams on YouTube, they don't work either. But yeah, there you go. We're watching my ear truck sim gameplay at like 10 frames a second, apparently, but it, it is working. And you can even, wow, that's amazing. See, Windows Server 2022. Let's see that one. Let's watch that one. Also works. Ain't that great? So now let's get to another website, something different. Of course. Oh, there you go. Let's get to BBC. 
Not that one, BBC, the British BBC. Of course. But there you are. And you can just, you can browse normally. Let's look at that. And it's substantially fast. I mean, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's fast enough. It's totally browsable if you want to like read news. I mean, for YouTube, I wouldn't say so, but just for news and checking the weather and stuff, that's good enough. Very, very nice. The image quality is great. Not things considered. I mean, it's a Tsang Labs card. It's very old. It's just uh, 16 bits. So it's not like, wow, how colorful. But you can clearly see that it is not that bad. You can go to Amazon. Let's see how it loads there. There you go. Show in down change. So you can actually buy stuff with your Windows 98 machine or Windows 95 or Windows 3.1. Old but gold stuff. You can go and spend money again. In a very safe manner, because there's a way to browse Mother Internet on Windows 98 natively, but that, that's kind of sketchy. I mean, it's a slightly old opera that can actually go to a few websites, but, you know, it's not very safe. And here, you actually, you're not doing that through Windows 98. It's, uh, it's a Linux machine that does it for you and streams it over, so it's as safe as it can be. It's like they say, you cannot get virus on Linux. I mean, you can, technically. But it's uh, a lot more unlikely than, let's say, Windows, for instance. <laughs> more so Windows 98, which is very, very unsafe. It hasn't had an update since 2004. So, very vulnerable. And this way, you can browse internet safely, no problemo. Ain't that great. So now let me show the VM that's running the browse service. So so that you guys can see the magic that happens behind the screen. So when you go to a website, let's say I want to load something very, very heavy and amending to see how that would go. So let's try uh store steam power that I typed it right, hopefully. Oh, I did. Great. So now you're going to see the logs going crazy. Oh, they actually didn't really. What the hell? Didn't log anything this time. <laughs> Fail. It should have. But for some reason, it is not. Let's see. Let's try and get you this uh, operation. Uh, my birth date. That's a tricky one. I think I was born. Back. Which is actually not true. I'm from 97, but I cannot, I cannot bother. And there you go. It is actually reporting down there. So, yeah, it's basically what happens. You type in the address, then the Chromium thing gets to the web page and sends over the pictures to your other machine that's accessing it through the browser. Things to keep in mind. Uh, make sure it's a private network because anyone with that IP, with that machine IP and 8080, which is the port, could technically, you know, get your the accounts are logged in and stuff because it's essentially the same machine. Because it's not like, oh, you're actually going to that web page on Windows 98. You're going to that on Linux and then it sends the pictures via the address so that you can actually pretend browse the internet on Windows 98. So anyone with the IP could like see your Gmail if you log in your YouTube or your X videos or whatever. 
So gotta keep that in mind. It's a very important thing to consider. But other than that, as long as it's a private network, you're gonna be just fine and it's as safe as it can be for browsing with an old rig. And it's very enjoyable. I mean, you can even watch YouTube and Netflix with the 16-bit colors, which add more to the nostalgia factor. So why not? You know? So that's a quick video for today. Not really going to expand further than that. If you guys want to learn how to do it, there's plenty on the internet. You can go to the GitHub and download it and install it yourself. It's very, very straightforward. There's a, there's a guide put in the same post on GitHub teaching you how to do it. If you guys want, I could make a video from popular demand, you know, we can, we can actually get stuff down there, but I mean, um, it's pretty straightforward. Usually if you have any questions, any feedback, comment sections right down below. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it and thanks to the guy that made this thing possible which his name is tto ttal vitae tall video well, i don't know just about that but thank you you're you're a god like that's amazing because i mean the ogs will probably remember i i made a video a long time ago browsing there you know on windows 3.0 I think it was 3.11 and I had to actually like rip old web pages from web archive and, uh, and make a web server so that I could actually catch the, the web pages. So I, I, I made a Linux web server and then I, you know, I sent all the HTML pages over there so that I could browse it through Internet Explorer and it would, so it could actually work properly because it was not compatible with, with web archive the org so it was a pain and now i can finally do it the way it's more logical to do which is just going and typing in come on come on there oh we didn't let's delete most logical way being web archive.org and now I can just do that which I couldn't do before so thank you to the guy that made this possible because this is really I mean now you have a complete window to the past and a window to the future with old machines because you can browse modern websites and you can actually go to Internet Archive and browse old web pages as well without a lot of pain like it would be before because you had to rip the pages and upload them to a server and then you could finally look at them properly without issues. So yeah, true G, saving the day. And it's a very, 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 very nice experience. So basically everything is compatible with Chromium will work just fine with a few exceptions like Twitch didn't work, a couple YouTube live streams, but generally everything in it just works. Ain't that great? So bye-bye everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a slightly different video from the stuff I usually make, but I hope you guys like it. And sayonara.